Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to wrap up the Ravens 55 to what? 19 victory over the Miami Dolphins. Uh, a huge, huge win over a team that was, well, hadn't beat but one over 500 team, but it has a really, really electric offense. Uh, some good, great skill players, a ton of speed, great scheme. And um, we basically took them behind the, wood, the woodshed without not really trying to um, like be like real braggadocious or be that guy, but we did a number on those guys. And this is my my, my drive my drive recap, and we'll talk, you know we'll take it starting from the first drive and leading up to the kneel down at the end. So we'll kind of go in order to kind of take you back through the game and kind of give you my thoughts on different things that what happened, and. Um, We'll get you up out of here. So, obviously, um, they got the ball first, so we'll start with them on offense. Well, us on defense, then we'll flip-flop like that. Uh, so, the first defensive drive for us, the Dolphins had a great plan. They um, had the Ravens off balance going down the field the entire drive. Um, the end of the drive on the TD to Cedric Wilson, they had trips left, and they ran, like, uh, two outs with a – Delayed in route, and, and Wilson kind of got in front of Marcus Wills, Marcus Williams. And Marcus, you know, threw a shoulder in at the last minute, but he just really couldn't get in there because of the route. So, you know, great plan for them to start their script, and they did a good job of scoring on the first drive. All right, Baltimore's first drive. Uh, Lamar opens the game with a deep shot to Bateman. I personally thought he caught it, but the refs called it off after his diving catch, say he bobbed it when he hit the ground or whatnot. Uh, offense overcame a bunch of penalties. I remember, like, during the live stream uh, when when the Dolphins first scored, some people were, like, leaving saying, um, well, not necessarily leaving, but, like, giving up saying, oh, we're going to lose by 15, or oh, this finna get ugly or whatever. And we hadn't even touched the ball yet. But we overcame penalties on that first drive. We overcame mistakes. And um, Lamar had some deep passes that drive, some uh, intermediate passes also. Hit a wheel right out the backfield to Justice Hill. Uh, for a touchdown, I actually hit that wheel route earlier in the drive, but there was a penalty on it by Likely, but came back to it. And um, Nelson, not Nelson, Rashad Bateman was able to jump out of the way of the defender to not get that same penalty, and, and Justice Hill got a touchdown out of it. So that puts us up 7-7. Seven seven. No, that ties us up 7-7. Seven seven. Dolphins second offensive drive. They get a huge run by A-Chain, and you might hear me say that a lot because A-Chain really did his thing yesterday. Um and I'll, maybe I'll talk about at the end how he got his yards. So he got his yards in one in particular way. And Kyle, not Kyle, Pat Queen kind of addressed it, you know, I think via Twitter or maybe in an interview afterward. But I'll talk about that toward the end. But second drive, they got a huge run by A-Chain to get the fans in the red zone. Uh, but luckily for us, Tyree Hill bobbled a touchdown. Should have been a touchdown, but Tyree Hill bobbled it. And they ended up going for three, and they went up 10 to 7. All right, our second offensive possession. I got two minute penalties forced us into a third and 25, and which we ended up having to punt out of it. And Dolphins still led 10 to 7. Uh, their third offensive possession, which is our third defensive possession, uh, Calvin Noy gets a sack, puts the fins behind the sticks, and we force a punt from them going up 10 to 7 still. Well, they're up 10 to 7, sorry. All right, now this is when the game starts to turn. Like I always say, like when you get off your script, that's when real football starts. And that's when I think both teams start to make adjustments and the Ravens' adjustments start to be better than the Dolphins' adjustments. Uh, the run game starts to hit. On second and eight, Lamar hits a 33-yard pass to Odell, which was a beautiful catch and a beautiful throw, which leads to a gust touchdown, and it puts us up 14-10. to 10. That catch by Odell, that was the only catch he had, but it was what was needed at the time. It kind of sparked the offense to get an overdrive, and it just led to an offensive onslaught after that. All right, defensively, like I said, this is when adjustments to me really started to kick in. Right, the defenses started to close off the middle of the field. A lot of what uh, Tua was doing was faking the handoff, then he lit glance routes right around the hashes, and the defense really started to close that off. And you could see them start to do it early in the game with um, 
Hill, not Hill, with, with Queen and, and Roquan kind of jumping up, trying to tip balls. And you can see them just squeezing the middle of that field off and trying to get more bodies in the middle of the field. But at this point, Tua was still working there. He was still hitting some shots in the middle of the field. Uh, we defended the run better. Uh, we forced him into a fourth and five. But we left Tyreek Hill one-on-one -on -one with Rocky Sin. <laughs> that was a recipe for disaster. And Tyreek Hill got a, a fade ball and beat Rocky Sin on that. But we still forced him to a field goal. Still forced him a field goal. And we still lead at this point 14 to 13. Uh, coming back, our fourth offensive possession, one play, sends a motion in Zay. Flowers in motion, run a wheel route behind it. I think we do post wheel, and they both go with the post. Hit Zay down the sideline. He's, he goes for about 60-some-odd yards before he even has to make a move, but then he makes a move and, and go ahead and scores for a 75-yard touchdown. And that put us up 21 to 13. All right. Now, at this point, we rock it. We got a, what, eight-point lead. Uh, offense is hitting on all cylinders, defensive. It's starting to figure out what they're doing, you know, offensively. And here we go. The so Dolphins get two quick first downs. Then they went back to, to that glance RPO. Roquan picked it. So, again, they were squeezed in the middle of that field, and they went back to the little fake, faked a little inside zone maybe and two a quick, throwing a little quick timing glance. Roquan picked it. Now, again, like I said, they had been getting hands up, almost tipping it, almost batting it. This time Roquan said he just looked, saw, and took off. And he just barely got that. He one hand snagged that thing. So we got a good pick there. And then uh, we got, for us, once we got it back, three quick plays for three yards. It's like we had three plays and really only got three yards on it. But what could possibly be could possibly be one of the plays of the year for the Ravens. On fourth and seven, that, there was no hesitation to go for it. Lamar drops back. Uh, he's kind of forced up because the edge is kind of collapsing on him. And as he's stepping up, Lamar, I mean, likely crosses his face. He throws off balance, like off one foot to Likely. As Likely he's going for it, the defender grabs his left arm, he grabs his right arm. He sticks his left arm out, one hand snags the ball. And not only does he make a clean catch, the ball is in such a good position, uh, Likely doesn't break stride. Then he goes to score. That puts us up 28-13, and you really know at that point things are going our way. You really know it because that was – an amazing, an amazing play. Probably one of the better plays of the year for Ravens fans and maybe even in the NFL. Because he threw it off one leg, likely caught it with one hand, then had the wherewithal to go score. Crazy play. I, I was speechless at the time. It happened. All right. The Dolphins get it back. Um, they get two first downs before being forced to punt with 10 seconds left. Ravens got it and took a knee. So now we're at halftime. At halftime with a 28-13 lead, obviously we get the ball back coming out of half because they got it first. Justice Hill opens the half with a huge kickoff return. Uh, then likely hits, I'm sorry, oh, Lamar hits likely shortly thereafter for a touchdown, making it 35-13. At this point, in my mind, the route is on. As long as we don't do stupid stuff, we should win this game. Um, when they get the ball back there, first possession, Matter BK gets a sack. Then they have a pre-snap penalty, which puts them in third and long. And we, they didn't get the third, the third and long. We forced them to punt. We get the ball back. Lamar hit Justice Hill on the checkdown route to kind of extend the drive. But shortly thereafter, Gus fumbles on that. So we're still sitting at 35-13. Uh, Tua went back to the middle of the field right after Gus turned it over and threw a touchdown. Now, if you was watching the game, you see the replay. That ball that Tua threw the interception to Geno on, you see like four uh, black jerseys in the middle of the field. And he has to get it over two, but then try to get it down in front of two more. And it, that window just was too tight. It was a damn near impossible throw, and he tried it anyway. But he had to get it over two defenders, and then try to have him get it down before the two safeties collapsed on the same guy. And he just overthrew him, and Geno Stone picked it off, if I'm not mistaken, for his seventh interception. All right, once we get it back for our ninth possession, um, I did not like the third down call on this one. It was third and like two, and um, they ran, I think, Power E. I think it was Power E. And the, the defensive end collapsed. And Lamar should have given the ball to Flowers with Gus Edwards in front of him. He had, Flowers had a lead blocker with Gus Edwards, and nobody was out there. I think Zay would have easily got the first down. May not have gotten a big play, but easily got those two yards that we needed. But Lamar kept it and just kind of 
leaned his shoulders into the into the um play or whatever. Next up. So obviously we didn't score. All right, they got the ball back. That was some good play by um the rookie. Robinson from Ole Miss to stay home on the Tyreek reverse. Uh, Darby gets a pass breakup on Claypool in the end zone. Um, the, the Dolphins do find the, the end zone on a touchdown pass to Devon A-Chain. Him and Queen was in the end zone on like a scramble drill, and he ended up getting the best of Queen on a jump ball. All right, we get the ball back. Let's see, let's see. Two quick passes to Bateman. Then they ran outside zone to Hill. One of the passes to Bateman was that RPO that I like. Ran outside zone with Justice Hill for a nice, maybe like a 30, 40 yard pass. Um, finished the drive with a touchdown to record, which was the same play that likely scored on early in the game. That put us up um, 49 to 19 or whatever they had, 13, whatever they had at the time. Um, next possession for them, OA got a sack, which forced third and long. Tua ran for it, didn't get it, was short, turnover on downs. Um, we get it back. Melvin Gordon on some determined running, got a touchdown. That gave us 55. They gave us the 50 burger. Um, no, I'm sorry. That didn't give us the 50 burger. That put us at 49. I apologize. That put us at 49. That Melvin Gordon touchdown put us at 49. Dolphins fumble the very next play that they get. We get the ball back. Toward Snoop throws a touchdown to uh, Charlie Kolar. That puts us at 55. Dolphins run four plays the next drive. Don't get the first down. Turn it over on downs. We get it with like 10 seconds left, take a knee, ball game over. So, complete domination to me. Again, they start. They had a great game plan for their first drives or whatever when they was on their script. But once we got off the script and Mike McDonald made those adjustments, we just, just suffocated them. They loved that glance, RPO stuff over the middle. We just put a bunch of biters in the middle and kind of took that away from them and then started getting heat with those guys up front. And then Lamar with his five touchdowns, and then Snoop came in with his touchdown, too. We had two quarterbacks with perfect passer ratings. I ain't never seen that done before. So um, this is my recap of our blowout of the Dolphins, which sealed the number one seed throughout the playoffs. So all the playoff games that we have to play will come in Baltimore other than the Super Bowl. And um, Kings of the North, uh, North also again. So ball's in our court now. Who do we rest? Do we rest? Get healthy and get ready for this Super Bowl run. So I appreciate you guys for coming through. If you have not liked the video, please do so now. If you're not a subscriber, please do that too. Hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop in 2024. I didn't screw that up. I didn't screw that up. Happy New Year's to you guys, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace and love. It's Coach Evans out.